Greetings, this is Bobby W6IWN, and today we're here to talk about the Baofeng UV25. It's like a Motorola and a Baofeng mated, and this is what happened. This thing's rated at 11 watts. We're gonna get right to it and jump it, test on the meter, talk about the specs, uh, this cool, interesting antenna that it, it comes with. Uh, ooh. All right, let's get right to it. All right, this thing's advertised at 11 watts. Let's put it on the meter, get right to it. Uh, I got a 50 watt dummy load. I got my meter here. I will be showing on a different camera. All right, testing one, four, six, five, two at 11. Oh, I saw it go up to like one eight there for a second. One five, but notice I do have a micro bit of loss. I apologize for that. All right, let's go do 70 centimeters. 8.6, 8.57, so it actually, it does slightly over 10. It doesn't do the 11, but I've seen a lot of these radios rated at 10 and they don't even do five. So go Baofeng. All right, let's take a look side by side with its little sister, the UV5R. I mean, this is a FH8P, whatever. It's all the same. So yeah, this thing is massive compared to it. Look at the battery is probably bigger than the radio alone. This one has a 5,600 milliamp hour battery. It screws on the back. So this thing must be IP rated and waterproof at their wet proof at some extent. I would imagine if it has a screw, uh, it has a USB-C charging on the back. These old ones don't have that. As you can see, it also has the airband feature. I got it laying flat on the table inside, so the reception isn't the best here, but that's another cool feature. It does have AM airband receive. It also has FM broadcast radio built into it as well. You just access it by pressing the button below the PTT once, and there's your FM radio. So if you hit this top button above the PTT, then you have your weather channels built in as well. That's a really cool feature. And then to scroll through them, you just use the channel button. I'm not sure if you can see it in the menu here because of the red font. However, it says a firmware version. So I'm going to assume that there's firmware updates. It says version point zero three. So if anyone knows how to update these firmwares, I think I do, so stay tuned. All right, let's talk about the features real quick. So this multi-band, as far as I know, it's 70 centimeter, two meter transmit. It does have the airband receive. We've got 5,200 milliamp hour battery. That's the biggest battery. I've had it on any HT that should last you a long time, uh, especially if you're using 10 or 11 watts, you're gonna need that. It says it has 999 channels. Uh, the type C charging USB C. I didn't think it was able to do docking earlier, but now I do notice it, it does have the things for the dock. It did, this one didn't come with a dock. Uh, frequency copy and a 1.77 inch color screen. Ooh, wait, what is frequency copy? Let's take a look at that. One key frequency copy. Press and hold the SK1 button and place it near a radio you want to scan. Upon radio transmission, UV25 will display the frequency. CT, CSS, or, DS, or DCS tones. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the large battery, you can program it manually. You can use Chirp uh, on the battery. Again, I'm really curious, it, has, it screws in, like it has some sort of IP rating for dust and water. I don't see anything in the specs, uh, but that's pretty cool. And it, yeah, it has this big, big channel metal knob that has like a cage around it for some reason, I guess for durability. That's pretty cool. Uh, on Radio Oddity site, this thing is going right now at the time of the video for $56.99 and I'll put a link below in the description if you're interested.